Hi, um, let's talk about polynomial division. We did a little bit this last semester. We're gonna go a little bit more intensive. So let's talk about the division algorithm. So basically the division algorithm basically means it's when you divide a polynomial by a linear equation like x minus a, then a is a zero. So you're saying that it's a zero of the polynomial, which means that it's also gonna be a factor. So in this case, you're saying if the remainder, remember, because we're dividing, is zero, and x minus a will be a factor. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of an example. I have 12 divided by, or goes into 277, and my solution is gonna be 23. The divisor is 12. The dividend is 277. The quotient is 23, so this is also the answer. And this is also a factor. And another thing you need to know is that this right here is also a factor. Okay. So let's talk about zero product property. Zero product property is pretty simple. It basically means that say I had x plus five times x plus three equals zero. We're talking about zero product property. You're saying that if this product, so I'm gonna make this larger. You're saying if the product of two factors are zero, then at least one of the factors must be a zero. And they don't necessarily mean zero the number, they mean a zero of the equation. So you're saying that your factors are gonna, your zeros in this case, would be negative five comma negative three. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at synthetic division. Um, it's to simplify the process of long division. So the way that it simplifies the process of a long division is you're going to um, divide by a linear expression. Okay, and then you have basically long division. So long division, specifically of polynomials, is going to basically be um, breaking the polynomials into smaller parts. And you can call them smaller parts or you can call them um, groups. And groups of other um, poly polynomials. So you're breaking polynomials into smaller polynomials by groups. Okay, so let's look at 
synthetic division examples. Let's call this example one. I'm gonna use a different color. So it says use synthetic division to divide x cubed minus 14x squared plus 51x minus 54 by x minus or x plus 2. So you always want what's the opposite here. So I want negative 2. You're going to make an L and you just want the coefficients and you want the sign in front of the coefficient. 1, negative 14, 51, negative 54 and divided by negative 2. So you bring down the first term and you're going to say negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then you're going to add negative 16, negative 2 times negative 16, 32. You're going to add 83. And then it's going to be 83 times negative 2. That's going to be negative 166. And your solution is going to be negative 2, 2, 0. So it's going to be solution. These are now the coefficients. Remember, you started with x to the third, so you're going to say 1x squared minus 16x plus 83 with the remainder of negative 220. To rewrite this, the absolute correct solution would be 1x squared, because you're going to sending order, minus 16x plus 83 minus 220 divided by the linear function x minus 2. So this is your absolute solution. This is, I will accept that though. Okay, synthetic division to divide. Let's, you notice there was a descending order. And then right here, we're going to be looking for a placeholder. placeholder. And the placeholder is going to be 0x squared because I go from x to the third to x to the first. So setting this up, remember that's the opposite. So that's going to be positive 7. So we need our coefficients. 1, 0, negative 57, 56. Then I have positive 7. Bring down the first, 1 times 7 is 7, add 0 plus 7 is 7, 7 plus 7 is 49. Add those together, you get negative 8, 7 times negative 8 is negative 56, the remainder is 0. So then this is a factor and a 0 because your remainder is 0. So then, oh, sorry. So then your solution is going to be x squared plus 7x minus 8. Okay. Okay, let's look at the word problem. This is example 3. It says the polynomial is going to be x to the third plus 7x squared minus 38x minus 32 expresses the volume in cubic inches of the shadow box. The width of the box is x plus 5 inches. So the width is x plus 5. It says, what are the dimensions of the box? So step one is synthetic division. And then step two is going to be to factor. Okay. So let's do synthetic division with our, we have to check if we need placeholders, we don't. So we're going to have 1, 7, negative 38, negative 240. And then all of that, you want the opposite of the negative, of the positive 5, so it's going to be negative 5. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. And you have 2, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Then you're going to have negative 48. 5 times negative 48 is going to be positive 240. Remainder is 0. So that's step 1. Okay, so step 2 was to factor. And we're going to factor this right here. That's my remainder. My remainder equals 0. So then we're going to build a coefficient or the polynomial again, x squared plus 2x minus 48. 
So then let's factor x squared plus 2x minus 48. As we find the factor of that, you're going to say that you have x plus 8, x minus 6, and that's going to be for the length and the height. So putting this all together, we know the width is x plus 5. That's a factor. We know the length can be either one. So I'll just say it's x plus 8. And we know the height is x minus 6. Okay, so that's all that's for A. This is all A. Okay, and the last one, if the width of the box is 15, what are the other dimensions? So the width was x plus 5, but we're saying that it's 15. So, use a different color. You're going to say x plus 5 equals 15. You're going to solve for x. Minus 5 minus 5, x equals 10. So I now know my width, or my w equals 10. So that's my w also. And now we have my length, which was going to be x plus 8. We now know that x equals 10, so that's 10 plus 8, 18. So L equals 18. And then we know the height was x minus 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. So my height equals 4. And if we check our answer, You're going to say that you have 10 times 18 times 4 equals, what does that equal? Oh, so it equals 720 inches cubed, because each of these is in inches. Okay, so let's now look at examples of long division. So we have the fourth example. Okay, it says long division, find the quotient and the remainder. The quotient is the solution, or the answer, and the remainder, we already know what the remainder is. Okay, so this is gonna be your factor. Now, long division is a little bit different. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put the divisor on the outside, And then you're going to put the dividend in the underneath the house. 4x squared plus 23x minus 16. Um, I made sure that they didn't need any placeholders, so the powers are in descending order. And we're just going to go from here. So what do I need to multiply 5, I'm sorry, x plus 5 by to get 4x squared plus 23x? So you're basically going to need to multiply it by 4x. So you're going to say 4x. So you're going to say negative. So 4x times x is 4x squared. And then plus 4x times 5 is 20x. Remember that you're going to subtract the 4x from the 4x squared from the 4x squared, and then the 20x from the 23x. So you're going to need to distribute the negative. So this is a negative, and that's a negative. So you're going to get 3x minus 16. x plus 5 goes into 3x minus 16 how many times? So you're going to need to multiply the x plus 5 times 3. So you're going to say plus.
plus 3. So then I'm going to say minus 3x plus 15. Because it's 3 times 3x three is 3x. Three, 3 times 5 is 15. But we're subtracting. So again, this has parentheses around it. So you're going to distribute the negative to each. So those cancel out and you're going to get negative 31. So my quotient is going to be 4x plus 3 and then my remainder is going to be negative 31, but you're going to present as a fraction over x plus 5. So then together, it's going to be 4x plus 3 minus 31 over x plus 5. That's your solution. Okay, and the next one is asking to do the same thing. Find the quotient and the remainder. So in this one, I'm just going to distribute the negative. Okay, so let's see this together. So for this one, you want to make sure that all of your um, exponents are represented. So it goes 2, 1, 0. I don't have an exponent there. So let's go ahead and say x minus 7 divided by 3x squared minus 29x plus 56. So remember, you're going to automatically distribute the negative. So I'm going to write in a different color. So x minus 7, and I need to have 3x. So I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 3x. So then you're going to say 3x times x is negative 3x squared. 3x times 7x, you're going to want the opposite, so that's plus 21x. Then you're going to subtract. These go away, so then I look at these two and I say negative 8x. And then you're going to bring down the 56 plus 56. 7, x minus 7 needs to be multiplied by what number to get negative 8x plus 56? So then I'm going to multiply it by negative 8 because I have a negative 8 as a coefficient. So then you're going to say negative 8 times x. You're going to want the opposite plus 8x. Negative 8 times 7 is going to be 56 and I want the opposite so I'm going to have negative 56. You're going to try and add those together. My remainder is 0. So right here you're going to say that your quotient is going to be 3x minus 8. My remainder is going to be 0. So then my solution is 3x minus 8. Okay. So let's look at the bottom two. This is example 6 and example 7. Okay, let's look at number six. Okay, it says check out the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial. If it is, then write the new polynomial as a product of two factors. So for it to be a factor, you're saying the remainder needs to equal zero. So the remainder has to equal zero for it to be a factor. You want to look for placeholders. Right here, I need zero x to the first. Right here, I need zero x to the first. Okay, this is the dividend and then the other one is a divisor this is the divisor okay so then let's go ahead and divide 3x to the fourth minus 4x third plus 12x squared plus 0x to the first plus 5 this is long x squared plus 0x to the first plus 1 so you're going to need to multiply 
x squared by 3x squared. So you're going to say 3x squared. And then we're going to distribute the negative throughout. So then you're going to say negative 3x to the fourth. And then 3x squared times 0 is plus 0. 3x squared times 1 is going to be minus 3x squared. Okay. So we bring this down, negative 4x to the third plus 12 minus 3 is 9, and then you bring down the exponent, x squared. You can only subtract exponents to look the same. So then plus 0x to the first. That's my alarm, sorry. Okay. So then from here, you're going to think, okay, what do I need to do to get rid of the lean coefficient of negative 4x to the third? I need to multiply x squared times 4x or negative 4x. So you're going to say minus 4x. And then we're changing the signs as we go. So you're going to say plus 4x to the third plus 0 plus 4x. So 4x times 4x squared is 4x to the third. 4x times 0 is 0. 4x times 1 is positive 4x. Okay, bring that down. 9x squared plus 4x plus 5. You need to get rid of the leading coefficient. So you're going to multiply this whole thing by 9. So it's positive 9. And then we change the signs, negative x squared. And then you're going to say plus 0. And then 9 times 1 is 9, so it's negative 9. So then I bring down 4x minus 4. This is my remainder. So it is not a factor. So your solution is not a factor. and remainder is not zero. So this is the answer. Because it's asking you to check. So right here you have to show work. So you're saying that it's not a factor because the remainder is not zero. The remainder is 4x minus 4. If that was a 0, then it would be a factor because the remainder would be a 0. Okay? Okay, so this is number 7, the last one. Let's go ahead and check for placeholders. 0x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x. Right here, I need a placeholder 0x to the third plus 0x squared. So then you're going to do, set up the long division. Let's set up the divisor first. x to the fourth plus 0, x third. And then the dividend. Okay, you need to represent each exponent. That's why we need placeholders. So again, these are placeholders. Okay, so again, for the factor to exist, your r needs to equal zero. So what do I multiply the x to the fourth by to get rid of x to the fifth? So I'm gonna say multiply by x. So you're gonna get negative x to the fifth and then let's all of this is going to be plus zero and then finally you're going to get x times negative one so it's going to be plus x all that cancels out it's you have to bring down this right here five x to the fourth plus zero plus zero plus 0 minus 5 and then 
what I multiply the x to the fourth by to get rid of 5x to the fourth, the first coefficient. So I'm going to be negative 5. I'm sorry, positive 5, because you're going to change it into a negative. Negative 5x to the fourth plus 0 plus 0 plus 0. And then 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. You change the sign plus 5. So my remainder is 0. So you're saying that x plus 5 is a factor. And you're also saying that your remainder is 0. Okay, so if you wanted to get really picky, you would say that this factor times this factor is going to equal this solution. So you're going to say x to the fourth minus 1 times x to the fifth is equal to 5x to the fourth minus x minus 5. Okay. All right, see you in class.